Are you live? Well, Ardo's going on to a new home. We're back in August. This is my new car. Like what the? Uh, <laughs> no way! Oh yeah! What up, guys? Welcome to the AK Burkhan 603 horse top. This is that guy. This guy. <laughs> Super excited because Damien Fryer's daughter Mia Fryer's from Daily Driven Exotics car is here. Nice. And are you, are you thinking of getting that one? That's what I'm thinking. Ooh. Ooh, another Lambo? Why another Lambo, Steve? Why not another Lambo? That's true. That. Ayrdo's going on to a new home. It was raining outside, so we brought it into uh, the detail bit here. This was a very strong sturdy sold sign and uh, it got a little wet but here you go thank it's you good, it's that, good. that's the official one he wanted maybe a new one i was like take the official one <laughs> that's what's been sitting on the car for the, like the last week. So what's happening steve uh i bought damon's daughter mia if you guys follow their channel dd uh i bought their gallardo and we're gonna take it home and we're gonna play with it and it was, uh, it was titled mia's car but it was really our car yeah, it was really <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Titled her car, she yeah. was never allowed just so you don't think i'm a bad dad <laughs> She was never allowed to take this home or drive it alone. It was always like, I was always, if you saw the videos, yeah. I was always shotgun with her. I'm not completely crazy. So what is this? That's a 09 uh, LP uh, Gallardo. Yep, 560 4 Yes. Yeah, so we took this car, it's black underneath. This is a Innos Tech high gloss, uh, what they call sand or tan uh, wrap. But we really wanted to do this. This is a huge trend right now. If you look to like the supercar mecca of the world, Southern California, a lot of cars about six months ago came out with this, like celebrities, like Chris Brown and a whole bunch of people, all their Lambos got this color. And so we wanted to bring it up to Canada and kind of pull that supercar community trend up here. So we did this. We partnered with my buddy Raymond from SR Auto Group on the Pure Wheels. Um, these cars come stock with 19s. This is an upgraded 20 inch wheel. So you get a slightly lower profile because you want to keep the overall diameter the same because this is an all wheel drive car. You have to be very careful about changing wheels on these. But this is the package we came with. It's nice, it comes more flush to the fender. And then we lowered it. So this thing is like the perfect uh, stance for a Gallardo. It drives straight, it's amazing. You actually get some bigger rubber too, so it handles better. This car from the previous owner came with the carbon side skirts which are typically on like a super legera and the wing this was an upgrade at the time so they whoever bought this car originally specced it with a glass bonnet which is cool because then you can see the engine and i know the previous owner went and put some led lights in here they're just kind of like that cool blue so at night this all glows which i thought was really neat oh super, yeah 100 yeah, yeah yeah and then we went ahead and put on uh the classic fi exhaust which gives that V10 a much nicer sound. It's not overly loud, which is nice. It doesn't drone when you drive, which you guys are gonna find out. Yeah. You're driving this how many hours? Uh, about 14 to 20. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna have an awesome road trip. Yeah. You got brand new tires. And then yeah, the interior is just clean. It was really meticulously kept. Right. Like Dallas, the previous owner, shout out to him. He, he took really good care of the car. He went a little crazy, cause this car when we bought it was blue. Right. And so it's black underneath, which is the perfect car to buy if you want to like change the colors. So you get tired of this at some point, you can wrap it whatever you want. Two for one. Two That's for right. One. Yeah. But when he wrapped it, it was PPF, so clear. Yeah. Then it was wrapped blue. Oh, then it was wrapped PPF. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, it was the worst. I've unwrapped a lot of cars in my lifetime doing this for a living. This was the worst car I've ever had to unwrap. Well, I think Raymond said on video it was 40 to 50 hours to unwrap it, disassemble, wrap it. It wasn't fun. A beautiful, probably one of the cleanest examples of an LP Gallardo you're ever gonna find. We looked for a long time. We even previous to this, if you remember, uh, bought Dave a manual Gallardo. Right. And that was not an LP because he wanted manual and it was, even those were hard to find. And even Dave's car was really clean, but like this takes a kick. It's sad to let it go, but we had to put up for sale and you get the benefit of it. I love it. I'm super excited for it. You ready to drive it back all the way to Saskatoon? Ready to go, man. Let's do this. And the best part is you really bought it for what we bought it for and then got all this stuff that would cost like 35 grand. For free. For free. For free. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So here you go, Spencer. Cool. Sales awesome. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Cool. How's it going, guys? Supercar Spencer. Yeah. What's up? So why don't you get in and fire it up? Cool. Because everybody wants to hear the first start. It won't be a full cold start, but it still sounds amazing. What do you have to Turn it over. Yeah. Huh? Turn it over. Turn it over. I love it. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Great. Great. 
down here. That's it, that's what you're a photographer. <laughs> Professional. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Nailed it. After 60,000 K. Right. They were like, <laughs> how is this possible? I was like, I drive it in race mode everywhere and I am on the gas. And how did I say I drive my Corvette? On the gas. Race mode everywhere yeah. on the throttle. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, snowing. Yeah. Well, that's why this time we said, like, we're going to do the trip during the day because when it was snowing in a hurricane at night on roads I'm not familiar with, yeah. I was white knuckling it. Yeah, it'd be yeah. scary. Yeah. I've done a lot of winter driving and there's even moments where I'm like, this just isn't. Awesome. Thanks so much. Lived for us a week. Kind of bittersweet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no matter what car in the fleet it is, like, it's just. You get them, and I always joke that like we're not we're not car collectors, right. we're drivers. Yeah. And now I've created this whole spin-off I call it the Anti Collector Collector Club because somehow <laughs> we've ended up with 16 cars. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. I think I just, a lot of people don't understand that your house where you video that's not all your cars. You guys have cars all over the place. Yeah, all, all over the time. country. Yeah. yeah. There's cars in the Lower Mainland. There's cars here. There's cars in my house. Then there's cars in Florida. Yep. It travels. See you guys. See you later, Spencer. Hey guys, Steve at Dog. No, <laughs> so what are we doing, Steve? We're back in August. This is my new car. We're gonna make the uh, 20 hour drive home through Moose Jaw, Medicine Hat, Regina. Why'd you buy this vehicle? Why wouldn't you buy this vehicle? That's very true, actually. We're doing Kelowna 2.0, so that means we have to go drop it on Nathan, un unannounced, and they have company, so this is gonna be awesome. Where you at, where you at? Nathan Draper's house. Hello, senor. Hola, amigo. That's Kelowna 2.0. Like, what the f <laughs> So that's for me this time. Yeah, I was dropping it off. Get ready. Right. <laughs> what did you buy? Oh, he bought the other girl. No way. Yeah. That's really? sweet. That's for that's for me. Diesel, come here. Don't pee on the car. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, now we're gonna see this. We're gonna see this car, right? Yeah. Why not? Why not? What's better than one Lambo? Yeah, but Two you... Lambo. Exactly. Thank Two. you. Thank you. Go eat Swiss Chalet after this. So that oh, I this cannot... is celebration time. <laughs> this is for sure celebration. Oh, I don't know. Wow. It's, it's pretty nice. That color is pretty. Sweet. You can open the door. Wow. You can sit in it again. I think that I think the tradition should be I should start doing the first burnouts in them. Mm. It's all wheel drive, I don't think it's gonna do a burnout. Oh. <laughs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah. Do you approve? Oh my god, I approve. approve? Okay. Oh yeah. Second hand job. I heard hand job. Well, I feel like I feel like, like I have a tequila bottle inside. Like, I mean, like, should I just christen it and put her right, right smack in the middle there? Do we just bail you for the eight dollars in gas you wasted? <laughs> my goal, my goal will be I'll have the matching purple one. Purple yeah. and black is my signature. You know that. I look pretty good, eh? Like, mm -hmm. it's good look. Hundred yep. percent. All right, get in the car. We're going for Swiss Chalet. Swiss Chalet again? <laughs> again yeah, Why go. Swiss Chalet? We just did Swiss Chalet. Stop being racist. Let's go. <laughs> well, thanks, yeah. man. See you later. See you guys later. Shop liver now? Oh, sorry, you guys. Yeah, see you guys later. See, see you later. Guys. Yeah, bye. We'll, we'll do the loop again. Your neighbors will love it. Steve, what are you Googling? Swiss Chalet Kelowna. Oh, why? Because that's where we're going for lunch, homie. Again? Uh, what, what does that say? 20 minutes left for Yeah, Swiss 20 Chalet? minutes. So we're a third of the way there right now. You want Swiss Chalet that bad? Well, we've already driven 40 minutes to get there. We'll get there. You know what? We're down to 19 minutes. We're down to 19 minutes. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Hey, no weed. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. 12 minutes, buddy. I made it to Swiss Chalet. We're here, buddy. Now we're going to find somewhere to park and maybe keep our windshield. So we made it there. That's it. Did made you, it to the one and only. Yeah, Swiss Chalet. Yeah, we, we see it. We this see is it. the one. This is the one. This is technically three hours out of our way when you consider the hotel's two hours that way. Nice Lambo. Nice Lambo. Nice new car and uh, Swiss Chalet. At least you can eat some Swiss Chalet and do, and do some work. <laughs> Look, we're at your house. Yeah, I drove. I flew halfway across the country for this. So. <laughs> Even you can take your mask off, you know that, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, come on. 
So Steven, was that worth the, the 3,000 kilometer drive? It always or, is, or it always is. I'm yeah. never disappointed. What do you get always at Swiss Chalet? I always get the full rack of ribs and fries. Sometimes I get a quarter chicken if I'm hungry. Mm. Today I wasn't that hungry. Okay, well, if Swiss Chalet, if you see this, please sponsor it. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. Let's get out of here. How was your meal? Never bad. Bye bye, Swiss Chalet. Hey, where are we going? Where are we going? Where, where, where are we going? Oh, it's so nice. What are, you, what, are you, what are you cleaning the car with? Your shorts? Yeah, I didn't have anything else. <laughs> Gotta put my BAM decals on. Nice. Approval Lamborghini. Okay. Oh, you too. You too. You too. It's nice and warm out here. Mm -hmm. Money. Cash in the bank. There we go. Boom. There. Are we out of here, Steve? Not yet. Let's get out of here or what? We're out of here. We're just gonna put this uh, thing up and then we'll be good. Okay, and who are we meeting again? Dallas, the Dallas. guy that owned this car for okay, years. Okay, Dallas, that used to own this vehicle. Yeah. 